This time we're going to fit a seal kit to a Gummer's 1500 series valve. This valve is a very popular valve um, and it's not always instantly recognisable. The valve has been sold to many different manufacturers and they have put their own knobs and handles on it so the, uh, from the outside the valve may look quite different but when it comes to servicing the, in the internal components are all the same. The, um, it's all, it's a, when we get a surface mounted valve or a recess valve what we have here is it's a recess valve, I popped it on the surface so it makes it easier for you to see what we're going to do. So we remove this and this is, the, this is the, the body of the valve. So now we're going to remove the cartridge. If you have the older style chrome plated Victorian looking valve then it's really just a case of taking the handles off and carrying on. With this, with all of the other ones that have got the plastic covers, as I said before they may look different but it's just a case of removing the covers. So first of all we've got to remove the front cap, your fingernail will do for that or a small screwdriver. Then in here we have the screw that holds the centre of the knobs in place. Really just in case you're unscrewing that, there's an allen key for this and some of the older ones a flat blade bladed screwdriver. As you remove this on the screw, I don't know if you can see that, there's a small o-ring in here. That The o-ring will either come away on this or it will stay inside the spindle here or it'll fall into the bottom of your bath or shower tray. So make sure you've got something in the tray to, um, to make sure that the waste pipe is plugged off. Then it's really just a case of pulling this knob forward. This comes off fairly easily, but some of the old ones are very tight. And then there's the white shroud that comes off. It's really just a case of getting in. Sometimes it's, you, you can get a screwdriver in at the back of this retaining metal retaining ring. Other times you can just pull it forward, like I'm going to do here. It off, and so there we have the shroud and the ring together. The next thing is just to remove the cartridge, so it's really just a case of a um, big pair of pump pliers or a, an, a, an Allen key or some, a shifting key uh, to unscrew it. Your one will be tighter than that, I can assure you. Now, as the cartridge comes out, behind the cartridge is the wax capsule or thermostat, a piston, and a spring. Now they won't just spring out, but just try and watch that you don't drop them when they come forward. So here we go. Here we have it. So we have the spring and the piston. The piston moves back and forward between the hot and cold ports. Um, and that's why it's called the piston. And finally the wax capsule or thermostat. Now the easy way to service this valve is you can buy the cartridge, the piston, and the spring together as one part and so then all you really need to do is to pop the, the new cartridge into the valve. However, we are here to service the valve so we need to now strip the cartridge down. The next thing we need to do is to strip the cartridge down. If you've got a bench it will be easier rather than on your knees in a bathroom floor. So the first thing we have to do is to get the bottom bit off the cartridge. Now you'll notice there's no flats or anything on this anywhere to grip it. The one thing you do not do is get a pair of pliers and grip it here because the brass is fairly soft and this will distort the brass if you grip it too tightly at all. What you need to do is um, a pair of pliers or indeed a shifting spanner like this um, and grip the, uh, the cartridge like that. And then you need a screwdriver, an old flat bit of metal, an old file, anything will do anything that will pass through these holes and that's what you need to do is to get something to grip that there um, and then all we need to do is unscrew this this will be tight so that's that now slackened and no damage to this part so this then unscrews like that and it comes all the way away and that is the half cartridge now we've got to get the inner workings out of, out of here and to do that what we need to do is there's a circlip here, just remove the circlip like so circlip away and you'll find that that will either push out or it might need a gentle tap with um, a, a, a plastic handled screwdriver or something like that just to, just to get it to come forward that's it, it's pushed out this time okay. and there's the inner part of the cartridge and then we need to remove the spindle so that's the cartridge now in pieces 
except for one part which is down in here and this is the, the screw that you would use to adjust the temperature and we just need something in here to unscrew that and that will come out and screw out here. So that's the cartridge now, now in pieces. Okay so the next thing we need to do is to just set the seals out. The easy way to do that is just to lay them all out. They don't need to be in any particular order because what we'll do is size the seals. This is a silicon lubricant, we'll come to that in a moment or two. So here are all the seals that are used in this valve. Um, this actually covers one or two of the other variants, so you may not use all of the seals that are in here, but the answer is just to space them out. And then what we do is we um, use the seals one by one, and change the seals over, sorry, one by one, um, and we size them at the same time. What you need is a very small screwdriver or something like this, um, you know, with a, with a point on it, this kind of thing, um, so that we can get under the seal to, to prise them out, so something fairly small. So we'll start here with the half cartridge. Uh, and so just in case of getting this in underneath here and peel the seal off. And now the next thing to do is to size that seal. So what we're looking for out here is one of the seals that looks almost similar to this. We'll try this one. Um, and the secret is, is when you have this balanced here is to check the bottom and if they both look the same and they're the same um, the same at the bottom, you're pretty certain you've got the right seal. So we take this seal off, this is the new one, we're going to put that on there. And what we, what's really important is to remember with the old seal, is to put the old seal away and not to mix them up with any of the new ones. So this is the new seal here, and we just pop it on like that and roll it on and that's it. So that's that part now done. Um, we'll go on to this bit and we'll replace this, this seal here first. And so once again, we'll just get something in underneath it prise it forward and peel the seal off and then we're looking at one the same size try this don't know if you can see that or not but they are actually slightly different the one in the outside is slightly larger so it's not that seal we want I think it must be this one yep yeah, that's the correct seal I can see already that's the right size so this is the new seal and that's the old seal we put that one away out of the way and once again it's really just a case of popping this on peeling it on like so. What might be handy to do is sometimes get a screwdriver or something underneath it, lever the first bit in, and it's really just a case of pressing it in right with your fingers. And we do that with the rest of the seals there. And then we come to this seal in here. This is the important seal. If the shower's been dripping, this is the one that's causing the problem. And this one is the hardest seal to replace. So what we'll do is we'll look at that um, just on its own in a moment. So now we, we come to this, this part here, replacing this seal in here. As you can see, when you look at it, you think that this is probably not going to fit because they look quite different. And the old, when you get an older unit too, that this seal becomes quite flat. And so it is in fact an o-ring, but when you look at it with an older shower, this seal will look flat. And this is probably the, one of the most difficult seals you have to replace in any shower. So we need something like this, you know, a, a, an old crochet hook, anything that will, that's got a point. And we need to get it jammed right in and even into the seal and then prise the seal out. This is not an easy task, but there we go. That's it coming out now. This is the seal coming out all the way around. There we go. Now, what made that difficult to come out is it actually fits into a recess under here and here. And Although it was difficult to come out, to be honest, it's going to be more difficult putting the other one in. To get this seal to fit into here, that what we need is not a cup of coffee, but a cup of fairly boiling hot water. And what we need to do is to pop the seal in to the hot water for probably 30 seconds or so, maybe a little bit longer to make sure it's really soft, to make it nice, nice and hot and soft as possible. So in it goes, and we just wait now for that to, um, to, to heat up and become softer. Okay, so we get the seal out, and this is where it becomes really difficult. The seal's nice and warm at the moment, and so it's really a case of just getting it pressed into here. Um, this is going to be difficult to let the camera see it, and for me to do it at the same time. But, there we go. I don't know, you can see the seal started to go in here. Once you get the start, it... Uh, it doesn't become easier, but at least it's now started. Now, 
inevitably you'll end up with a bit sticking out like this. The difficulty is getting that bit in and the answer to is to use the end of a screwdriver. Something like this just to help press it in and you really just get to working your way around with this and forcing it in slowly as you go. You can see it's starting to go. And just the last little bit. And there you go, it's in. Probably one of the most difficult seals to replace in any shower. But that's it, it's a brand new seal. And when you look at that, you'll see, but well, it's probably not, not easy to see with, it with the camera, but it, it's, it's swollen out slight, slightly. So that means it's going to mean it's going to be a good seal when we start to reassemble the cartridge. Okay, so now we've passed the most difficult bit in terms of servicing this valve, getting that seal in. So it's really just a case of reassembling it. And as we reassemble, all we need to do is to make sure that we grease all of the moving parts and the um, and the seals as we go. So this is the temperature adjustment screw. We'll come to that. We'll come to that when we reassemble the shower. But just a little bit of grease on the threads, and then we pop it back in here. Don't know if you remember when that came out. And we just need to get it back into place by giving it a screw. That's it. That's clicked into the thread now. So that's that now in place at the shower valve. Spindle here. Once again, grease on the threads, but grease on the O rings. And back together here. So, there's a very coarse thread, so it can be a bit difficult to, to get the start, but that's it there. So that bit moves back and forward like that, you can see it's moving nice and clearly. Once again some more silicon lubricants or silicon grease on the, the o-rings. And this hex here, this moves back and forward inside the shower. So we want to make sure we get some grease on the hex part here and finally on this o-ring. So that's us got all that nicely greased and we want to take it and pop it back into the body. So, and it goes like that. And then finally, the half cartridge, bit of grease on the threads, just to make that run in a little bit easier. And it gets screwed in there, like that. And then we remember that we use a piece of flat metal, an old screwdriver or something like that to put in there. So we hold against this when we tighten this up. Um, I don't know if it's very easy to do from here, that goes in like that something like this just a, just a tent well, it's not very easy to do at this angle but something like that just that's it tightened so give it a good a good nip it nip up it doesn't need to be too tight and finally a bit of grease around here and the circlet to be fitted back on the top that's it and we now have a serviced and reassembled cartridge ready to go back into the shower. Okay so now we're ready to refit our um, newly serviced cartridge but there's one thing we've got to do, in fact two things we've got to do before we um, before we do that. Inside the body of the valve there are two other o-rings that need to be replaced. One here at the front that's fairly easy and one away in at the back, I don't know if you can see that, but away in at the back here that needs to be replaced as well. Um, and so, once again, we're going to use one of these kind of tools. Um, the front o-ring is fairly easy, so just pull that out like that and replace it like so, which is fairly straight, whoops, fairly straightforward. And then we have to replace the one at the rear. Um, and this is why you need some of like this. Um, the best way to do that is really just to get something with a point and stab the o-ring and then it should just more or less pop out. There we go. This is quite a tricky one to do. So this is the um, 
this is the old o-ring, now we need to replace that. It fits in a groove in the back here, and um, it's really just a case of getting it popped into that groove, which can sometimes be, this is one of these things that will either pop in in a few seconds, or it could take 10 minutes. We'll hope this is one of the ones with a few seconds, so let's just try it. So what I try to do is push it in at the bottom first and then work my way around, popping it into the groove. And as I said, sometimes this is straightforward, and sometimes it can take a bit of fiddling to get it in. That's in about halfway, I think. And sorry, there's no easy way that you can see what I'm doing here, but I've really just got about a quarter of it left to go in. It's trying to be a little bit awkward. That's it. It's in place. So as I say, it, it can be a bit of a fiddle getting that in, but um, it's not nearly as difficult is getting the washer in that we had to put into the into the cartridge. So the next thing we need to do is just replace the cartridge and what we have is the uh, is the wax capsule going into the cartridge and then the piston which goes in with the teeth into the cartridge first and finally the spring. Now as we offer this up oops, as we offer this up to the valve as you can see the spring can drop out just a moment. And so, that's a fairly good example, so to avoid this spring being loose and dropping out, what we need to do is, if you get the screwdriver, and just take the spring and prise it forward just a little bit, a bit more than that, not too much, then the spring will fit into the piston and it won't drop out. Um, so that's just a little tip that makes life a lot easier when you're popping this back in. So I'm going to offer it up and back into the valve. And in we go. And now all we need to do is tighten this up. That's it tight. Now the next thing to do is to fit the shroud, which is here. Um, there's a tiny little mark on the top so you can identify which is the top. It's not always easy to see, but it's usually there. And this ring, this can be a bit difficult to pop on as well. And you'll need something to push it back with. Screwdriver, anything will do. But it can be quite tight. There we go, and that's that nicely secured. That's not nicely secured, but that's it nicely secured back now. Ready to go. And now we fit the handle. So first of all, we've got to make sure that the valve is fully turned off. So that's the valve turned off. And then we pop the handle in at the off position on the handle. Like that. And then the uh, securing screw. This just, this just needs to go in temporarily at the moment. Not too far, just enough to hold the handle. Then the next thing to do is to go off and turn the water on. Okay, so now we've got the water turned back on. The thing to do is to check the temperature of the valve, make sure it's set to the correct temperature. And um, to do that, we have a separate video for this, and the link is down here.